I would think all progress. Mm. Keep building and building and building and building. Yeah. I always think about that sometimes about our, our book. What's your way to work? Think about them all the time. Oh, oh, oh. They, they keep building and building. That's their home out there. They keep taking their home away from them. The way see I've got the wild animals, he said. Hmm. They're and taking their home away from them. I often think about that. What would we do if all of our homes were taken away from us? Right. You know, but I guess that's what they call progress. You know? Thumbs. It's sad with all these animals, but you know, keep taking their homes away from them. They wonder why some animals go crash and you know, where are they going? You know, where are they going to go? Um, years ago, we depended on them. That, 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 them animals are our life. They keep us going. Oh. Oh. And that, that mild animal, they're better for that deer. He's better for them than that beef we buy in the store. He eats nothing but natural stuff out there. Mm -hmm. That beef we buy in the store, they feed them them cattle chemicals so they grow fast. That's where you get all that. But that wild game is always good for you. That wild game out there, they other porkies, deer, muskrat, that turtle, they go way down and me and mommy eat them all, Mr. Kiki. Yeah. Uh. yeah. And they're healthy for you. But they're animals, there's no animals out there. They, they eat traditional medicine out there, they don't know. And that's why they're full of that. Hmm. And it's good for us. It's not like that beef that you buy in the store. Hmm. That's all chemicals. Oh. That can stuff too. Mm. But uh, I always oh. think about that for a They wait also. them all. They wait them all. Okay, what the elder saying is that yeah. those animals out there, they're all of all of the things that they eat, those are good medicines. So that that's why we respect the animals so much, is that when we we make an offering and they give their lives to us. When we eat that flesh, we're receiving all those good medicines that that animal took in. Hmm. And that's what makes us, gives us life and strength and health. That's why we respect the oasis of the animals so much, because they do that for us. And the elder was saying, you take their home away, where are they going to go? What are they going to do? You know, how are they going to feed us? It's all part of the, the great, you know, the great, the great piece of the, the ecosystem. Okay, all of it, all of it matters. All of it matters, and Shnabe have known that since the beginning of time. We've never changed it. We just went with it, learned from it, became part of it. That's why Shnabe was able to live here, not ever leave a footprint. It's like what the elder was saying. You know, that's 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 where I get my teaching system. People, people like Bernie that tell, told me those things. You know, and I listen. I listen. He does his job. He tells it to us. It's up to us to listen and to do something about it. So that's why we try to do something about it. And we try to plant the seed and let our kids know that this is the way we were supposed to be living. This is the respect we're supposed to have. But as adults, we're supposed to model that too. We're, we can't just tell our kids to do that. We have to model it as parents. Mm -hmm. Our elders tell us that. So we try to listen. We try to listen when they tell us things. Because he did his job. He told us. Our job to listen.